Hey everyone, Papa Red, eating a brownie. So I just finished doing this introduction, and I went back and watched it, and I got bored. So I'm not going to make you watch it. Quick and to the point, here's what we're doing this time around. This week we are going to do an antique lure recre recreation. I can, I can talk, I promise. Baby bluegill. Tall, narrow, easy hardware, little crankbait. But well, we're going to do that. Probably a little different paint job. But let's get to it. Alright, so there's not a whole lot of shape to this. It's pretty round. I'm going to carve the gill in. But uh, other than that, I'm just going to round these edges off and make it kind of look like a football, I guess. All right, so here we are so far. Got the rough shape cut out, sanded everything down. I'm gonna end up cutting a little bit of this tail off so I got some room to put the hardware on there and make it a little closer to the original bait, but we're getting there. I'll uh, do a little more finish sanding, start getting a lip cut, and uh, make up some hardware. Keep going on this thing, cruising along.
All right, so let's figure out where we're going to put our hardware. So they're showing that the hook, or I'm sorry, the line tie, is going to be going right here above the lip. So we'll mark that. And then our hook is just below the gill. So we're going to mark that right here. And then of course we got ours in the back. We're going to need some lead. I think we're going to do one on each side of this hook because it's kind of narrow. So we're going to have to go with a small bit. So we'll do a couple of holes here and here. And then we'll see how that works. So let's get to that. Okay, got the hardware in, got our holes drilled for the lead, and uh, get some really small sinkers. We're going to melt those in there and we'll get that sealed up, and we are well on our way. This thing's looking good. All right, so we're gonna start working on the lip. And as you can see from this picture, it doesn't show the entire lip. So I'm gonna to have to make an educated guess. And that doesn't always work out great for me. But you can see, it looks like that has like a, a concave look to it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna show you this Lexan. So I cut this to approximately the size of the lip that I kind of wanted. So I'm stick it in here, you can see. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. But what I did was I took the Dremel and I ground some of that out. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a little bit of a concave shape to it. So I'm going to take and start cleaning this up and buff this out see what it looks like. This might work. It might not. We might be cutting this lip out because it does absolutely nothing. So we'll see. All right, so there's the polished lip. I uh, can pretty much guarantee we're going to be sealing this bait and trying this lip before we paint. Don't know if that's going to work. So let's get this thing sealed up, see what's going to happen. Alright, so we just hit the bathtub, and I'm glad we did, because I ended up taking and turning this around so that the flat side is up, so it's like the concave part wasn't even there, and this tracked nice and straight. Um, with the concave part, I'm leaving this in the video, so hopefully somebody else, this might save somebody a little bit of headache, but the concave part, unless you can have that perfectly side to side you know perfectly uh, symmetrical from side to side this was very unpredictable it kept wanting to shoot off to one side or the other lay on its side
but as soon as I flipped that over and it was flat, it was perfect. So we're going to be taking this one out, just cutting a regular piece of Lexan, shaping it right, and we'll glue that in and get this thing ready for some paint. Alright, so there we have it, the new lip. We'll get that uh, epoxied in, we'll get the final sanding down, and get this thing ready for some paint. Stay tuned. Alright, so this is the paint scheme that's on the original antique lure. Uh, I'm not crazy about it, but I think we're going to go for a more traditional baby bluegill look. So I think we're going to go for this pattern. All right, so we did our white base coat, and then I put a light layer of silver across the whole thing. So now I'm going to start working on getting the gold accents and the belly action here, uh, since that's not, you know, yellow yet, since it's just a baby. And then we've got some bluish hues going through the back, along with the lateral line, and then our stripes. So I we'll, think we're going to be doing the stripes and uh like a dark gray um, and then you see we've got some black across the head and uh, some gold in the gill area so let's get working on that All right, well, here we go. Not quite as blue as I think I'd have liked it, but definitely will pass for a baby bluegill. So let's get the eyes glued in, take this tape off, and get some clear coat on it. All right, there we have it. Ready for clear coat.
All right, well, there we have it. It's all finished. Paint's on there. Looks pretty good. We are going to uh, take this thing out like I promised. We're going to see if we can't get anything with it today. It is cold. It is windy. But I made a promise. We're going to go try and uh, see if we can get something with us. So let's pack up our stuff and head out to the strip mines. All right, hey everybody. We are uh, out here at my uh, area club. And we are going to uh, try out this bluegill. So it's pretty windy. It's cold today. Again, I'm really getting tired of this cold weather. Let's see if we can see what the action is on this. Well, it's nice and vertical. Ooh. Once it goes underwater, it's good. Kind of wants to lay on its side at first. If you can see that, that's uh, different. You might need to adjust the line tie. It's wanting to pull to the right. It jumps to the left. Wow, that's really erratic. It's all over the place. Dives down about two feet. Yeah, let's see if we can't catch something with this. Let's try this spot. See, it's really windy. Had some white caps on the other end of this lake. Caught a couple fish here the other day. Oh, look at that. First cast. <laughs> All right, success. little but I don't care All right. match the hatch thank you all right everybody well uh my GoPro battery just went dead so we're gonna call this fishing day a wrap. I'm cold. Spring can get here anytime. Make it a whole lot easier for me to catch some fish for you guys. But uh, we'll get in the truck and warm up and get home. And we're gonna start wrapping this video up. So see you in a bit. All right, well I couldn't get the, the phone out and like I said, my GoPro's dead. But uh, stopped at one more spot on the way way out and got this right off of a, a boat launch area. So success number two. It's definitely a little better than the other ones we got today. Okay, well we're back home at the bait shop. It's a whole lot warmer here than it was out there, but hey, I'm happy. Uh, it's a good trip. Caught a couple fish on each of the lures I took with me. But uh, yeah, that's our uh, antique recreation. I think it turned out pretty good. I really liked the paint job on it, out in the water. Uh, and then when the sun came out for a little bit when it did, um, that really 
it really looked a lot like a bluegill. The uh, the gold accents and stuff were flashing real nice in the water, and uh, it, it really did well. Um, I think if I messed around with it at all, I'd change the lip around a little bit, but uh, I really don't think I'm going to. I really like the erratic action of this. It looks like a an injured bluegill. So I think it's once the, the spawn hits and the, the bass are up on their beds, I think this thing's just going to get annihilated, and I think it's going to be a good producer throughout the throughout the year. So anyway, thanks to everyone for uh, hanging with me, and I hope you liked this build. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you haven't already done so, please uh, subscribe to Papa Red Fishing. I'm going to have a lot more lure, lure building videos in the future, and uh, I appreciate your support. So till uh, next time, this is Papa Red. Everyone stay safe.